Many different trees, flowers, and plants were installed at the West Main Street median, entering town from 495 or coming towards town from the Price Chopper Plaza. The goal of the project was to create a nice scenic landscape at one of the gateways into Hopkinton. This goes back to probably two and a half, three years ago with Ken Driscoll from Select Energy. It was his idea. Um, he got a group of us together, uh, mostly Chamber of Commerce members, uh, and we talked about uh, the idea. And the idea was to really beautify the entrance or the gateway to Hopkinton. Um, when I found out about it, I wanted to be part of it. Uh, we're in the business of beautification. And this to me was important because when people pull off the highway, it's the first impression they have in Hopkinton. It's going to say, this is a, this is a nice community. They take the, the time to beautify their, their, their road median strips and their highways. Um, you know, it's not a place for theft. It's clean, it's healthy. It says all those things, good for the environment. So that's how the process started uh, two and a half years ago. Many donors contributed to the project, including Unibank Paul Mastriani and Weston Nurseries. My role was to really, I wanted to head it up. I think um, it was important that uh, I could do a lot in kind, and in doing that I think it really spearheaded the project because we needed money to pay for some of the other things and we were willing to commit um, the cost value of the trees, the shrubs, and the perennials, and a lot of the labor and the soils, and other people. We needed help from other people to pay for the uh, tying into the water main was a big cost, and the maintenance three, four, five years down the road. So um, I was very eager to get involved, and uh, we went after the business community, especially those businesses that were right local to the 495 interchange because it really affects their workplace and their commute and um, we, we built a website, uh, we built a handout, uh, Finn Perry came on board uh, last fall and that made a huge difference. Uh, a guy named Jeff Barnes came involved and contacted a lot of businesses, solicited the donations um, and, and Finn's role was also to do that and to work with Gorman Richardson who did renderings that we could go around and explain the project visually to people and really uh, with this group um, engaged a lot of businesses to donate a lot of money. So we were able to raise north of $150,000 in about a four month time span. In front of the newly opened 110 Grill in the Lumber Street Plaza, the gateway green ribbon was officially cut after a welcoming ceremony. Thank you has been said 50 times, but thank you all for being here. Uh, let me just reiterate, if you just take a second and look around at this crowd, this is, this is a quality group of people, and I think they, they, they not only, they represent Hopkinton. This is a good community on its way to being a great community. And this is, and, and these people are part of the, part of the, part of the reason that that's going to happen. So, if we can have you up front, and you're all welcome to stay, please, we want you to stay and, and sample this world-class cake uh, afterwards. So thank you for being here.